okay so if we talk about the Bricard diffusion, this is how it looks. This is how it looks from the Barasten long axis. This is the Barasten long axis. There is uh, uh, anterior Bricard diffusion and posterior Bricard diffusion. And what is this? This is the descending aorta. Descending aorta is here, right? So if there's descending aorta and the Bricard diffusion here, and the effusion is here, this is Bricard diffusion. It is down, down to the descending aorta will be Bricard, it will be blue effusion. But anyway, this is Bricard effusion, not tamponadic. Why not tamponadic? It is not compressing the right ventricle. Here, in the subcostal view, there is Bricard effusion. Do you think this is tamponadic? Yes, it's tamponadic because it's compressed the right ventricle. Compressed the right ventricle. And this is Bricard effusion from subcostal view. To assessment of Bricard effusion, you can say, if it is not tamponadic, you will say it is mild, moderate, or severe. Mild, moderate, severe, depend. You can measure what, how many ml here. For example, this is more than one, one, if we freeze the picture and we measure, one less than one, it is mild, more than from one to two is uh, moderate, above that it will be severe. 